Hi, Jim. Congratulations on that Hall of Fame induction yesterday. Um, one of the things, one of the many things that I was uh, interested to learn more about about your career was your work on all the trails in Anchorage. And I was just wondering what perspective you have on the trails going into the future from now, you having had this experience with Anchorage. Going forward, as you know, we've uh, had almost a 10-year effort at trying to establish a snowmaking system at Kincaid. And it's been a, an extremely long process to get this system up in, in operation. And we still have some problems with that particular system that needs to be solved to move forward so that we have a venue that uh, is, has dependable snow on a, one of these winters like we've faced this past winter, as we call the winter of no winter. And uh, the one thing that has saved us was the snowmaking loop that we put together. It took a great deal of volunteer effort to get that in place, but we didn't have to cancel any of the uh, Anchorage Cup races or any of the high school or junior high races. That said, almost all of them were held on the man-made snow loop, which is not anything unusual. Europe, uh, if you ask any uh, Keekin or any of the athletes that have been in Europe, uh, a lot of the venues have to depend on man-made snow today. Even the Vasilopa, they're working towards getting uh, almost all of the 96 kilometers of trail that they can put snow on. It's a real economic advantage, advantage for them to do that. And, uh, here in Alaska, it was, you know, a frontier. We had uh, women who were uh, in Alaska in the 50s and 40s who were, uh, you know, it was a rugged place. <laughs> and I think it was easier for people uh, to accept women in a, an endurance sport like cross-country skiing here in Alaska at the start and we were uh, a young progressive community at the time and uh, we got it skiing involved in the uh, 60, I think it was 64. Uh, at that time there were only two high schools in town, East High and West High, and they, we were lucky to get the skiing uh, so that women were included in an endurance event like cross-country skiing. So did you have the feeling that you were kind of on the vanguard and, and you had to fight for this, right? Or was it kind of... It wasn't uh, as much as a fight here as it probably was in other regions of the United States or mm -hmm. even in the world.